So my name is Laura Risotto, and I am a singer-songwriter from Brazil and Latvia, but based here in Los Angeles, California. I've been singing since as long as I can remember, to be honest, but I started singing professionally when I was about 15 years old. That's when I started doing my first shows in Rio. I ended up getting my first record deal, released my first album when I was about 17. And uh, yeah, I participated in Supernova and ended up winning. <laughs> and then I went to Eurovision. And I created my first line of merch with Fitful. We didn't want to just create merch that was going to be just like my face. <laughs> I wanted to create designs that were cool and take that opportunity to be creative. And then Ross and Rage, this last single release, this last music video, has been such a special project in so many ways because it you know, has these references to a show that we love so much. It's also been a project that I've done with my best friend, who's my sister. She co-produced the music video. She directed it, edited it, colored it. And that was such a journey of us two working together. Everything of this release we have done together. And she's a huge part of this project. In Portuguese, we have an expression called ah, eu vou vestir a camisa, which means I'm going to wear the t-shirts of, of my team. It's nice when we're able to work on something so long and then we're wearing like a uniform. This is what we made. and it. it it just feels like a, mem a nice memory to have, you know? And uh, Ross and Rach basically talks about what we would call, in Portuguese, we would say they're yo-yo relationships. They're relationships that you break up and then you get back together. You break up, it just keeps going and coming back, filled with a lot of back and forth. And it talks about someone who's dealing with that kind of dynamic and wants to break free from it and decides to do so. With creating merch, I think everyone gets overwhelmed at first because it seems like it's going to be a really big deal. I really like the printful format, especially as an independent artist, because we don't have to buy a bunch of merch, keep it in stock, and then send it out whenever people order it. You don't have to buy in bulk, right? It's risk free in many ways because, you know, it's a uh, print on demand. So I really recommend that format, especially because once you've created your designs, you don't have to worry about things getting shipped and stuff like that. You just create and then you can, fo you can focus on that, you know, being the artist, doing something creative. To be honest, like that's the thing, the process was so easy. That's what's been great about Printful too. It's not overwhelming. And I feel like everything new, people are a little bit like, okay, what am I getting into? And this has been so simple, so user-friendly. I was just excited to be able to create my little shop and have, you know, all of the products organized in a way that people could, you know, process them well and look at them and, you know, feel like it's a pleasant experience to be at the Laura Risotto shop. I think you should sell things that you would wear yourself. So I've been wearing my merch and I've been wearing it when I'm posting on social media, finding ways to introduce the merch to people in a way that's organic. And so I was just like, hey, I made a t-shirt, buy it. It's like, okay, hey, this is really nice to wear. This looks cool, you know? Uh, I think we really own what we created. And I say we because I created this with my sister, Carolina. So it really is, is a team effort. I think it's really, really important to order samples. Most of the things we ordered, they came in perfectly. We were just like, this is great. This is what we're gonna use. But it's so interesting to see how the same design, it's gonna be printed in different colors differently. We have a white sweatshirt, a blue sweatshirt, and we actually printed out a black sweatshirt as well with like the couch design. That printed so differently in white, blue, and black. And we were just like, you know what? I think this pops more in the white and blue. So we actually did, did, ended up not selling the black one, but it takes that sample. And I think if you're gonna be selling something, you really need to see it for yourself first, make sure that it's good, make sure that you're happy with it it's only fair to the customers people are spending your money you better you better test it out first so i think the ordering samples is really really important yeah but also like enjoy the process i thought it was so much fun i loved learning about different fabrics different fits i really enjoyed the process to be honest it's a learning experience for sure i loved it so i recommend it to everybody <laughs>